you have the option of protecting appreciation on your separate assets. So let's say you own a house prior to marriage and it's valued at $100,000. If at the time of divorce it is worth $500,000, then it's appreciated in value by $400,000. You can make sure that that $400,000 stays separate too. Again, if you choose to default to state laws, the community may gain an interest in the appreciation under Texas law if community funds were used to pay the mortgage or make capital improvements. Another example, let's say you have an investment account that gained appreciation over the course of your marriage. Those gains can be considered separate in your agreement or you can default to your state laws. 